Hello beautiful people. In this video I'll take a look at the new cannons fitted to the A26B-10 in the direct hit update. Hope you enjoy. Whenever a large update is worth under, we usually see new vehicles and maybe some new mechanics. But there are so many smaller changes and updates that usually gets overlooked and this is one of them. I was actually happier about this small update than some of the major ones, and it only affects the A26B-10. We have two different A26s in the game. The one I'm featuring in this video is found in Battle Rally 5.0, while the other, the A26B-50, is found at Battle Rally 5.3. The differences between the two models are the bomb loads and armament. There are also some very small differences in the performance as well. What is special about the A26 here is the option in armament. You can either go with one 37mm cannon and four 12.7mm heavy machine guns, or two 37mm cannons in the nose. Prior to the direct hit update, the 37mm cannons were the M4 variant, and as you can see here, it was pretty underwhelming when it comes to the AP shells armor penetration. But now the A26B-10 has got an upgrade. Instead of the M4 cannons, it now has the M9 cannons. And with this new cannon, you can comfortably destroy tanks from the side, rear and top. The AP shells armor pin at 500 meters has doubled to now 60 millimeters. You have more than plenty of ammunition with 150 rounds total for both cannons if you choose that option. The cannons can fire very fast, but that itself comes with some drawbacks. The cannons are pretty inaccurate, and the faster you fire, the more they spread, and already at the second and third shot, the spread is actually pretty large, and they individually also are pretty inaccurate. So for the most precise fire, you need to wait a little between shots. The A26 is a stable gun platform, but it compresses around 550 km an hour, and you can easily get to that speed in a shallow dive, and that makes correction for gunnery difficult. Even below that speed, the A26 is pretty heavy, so it's best to line up a target from pretty far away, and then try to avoid changing directions too much. The best way to use the H26 and its new cannons is to make sure you always try to zoom and boom perpendicular to the battlefield to get as many side shots on tanks as possible. Don't try to turn over the battlefield, just take some shots with the cannons, drop some bombs, and then use the speed to get away and rinse and repeat.
Although the cannons are somewhat inaccurate, I think it has given the A26B-10 a new lease on life. But that was about it, there isn't really that much more to it. If you like the content on my channel, please do me a solid and subscribe, like and comment. Thank you for watching, and until next time, remember to deploy your die breaks. Have a good one.